So a while back, the police arrested a convenience store clerk for assaulting somebody who was trying to rob him in the store. And at the time that it happened, the chief of the Peterborough police made it very clear that they wouldn't have arrested him if they didn't have evidence of him committing a crime. And if you know me, you know that I am not shy about criticizing the police. But when they make statements like this, I trust them. So what does the video evidence show? The clerk took the baseball bat from the robber and hit the robber. When the robber was already on the ground, the clerk hit him in the head again. That put the robber in a coma. I don't think it's wrong for you to believe that the robber had it coming. If you commit a crime and get hurt in the process, it's your fault for committing the crime in the first place. But what the clerk did is also a crime. That's assault. Now this article by my good buddy Joe Warmington at the Toronto Sun is arguing that the video evidence should exonerate the clerk. If anything, the video evidence just confirms that what the clerk did was a crime. But I still think that at the end of the day, his lawyer should be able to get him off because it was a heat of the moment type thing. I'm not arguing that the clerk should go to jail. He might need some counseling. But we can't flat out say that what he did was not a crime. He assaulted a dude and put him in a coma. He continued to beat him after he was on the ground incapacitated. Which is once again why I said that we should be trusting the chief of police here. Because we should make sure that we are frustrated with the police on the things that are valid to be frustrated about. Like the fact that a cop in Toronto whose gun was found at a crime scene in Brampton and whose house was later raided and had a bunch of illegal weapons is now being suspended with pay and his salary is like $114,000 per year. But I'll talk about that in another video.